Hi, gorgeous girl. How are you? Good. How are you? You I'm look good. Glad. I'm so, so um, surprised I managed to get this working. I know. Well not done. my strong point, as you know. Look at you. You're outside. I'm outside. It's gorgeous. Look at you. You're tanned. I know. I do look a little bit tanned. I don't know. You know what I think it is? Is this like facial oil that I made myself and it's got like, like orange, like kind of like an orange essential oil and it's like got an orange tint. Ooh. And I think that it like gives me like a slight tan. Yeah, it's lovely. I, I, uh, I'd like the recipe for that, please. Yeah, I will give it to you. <laughs> How are you? It's been so long. I know, it's been mad. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm a little bit going slightly stir crazy, but yeah. 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 Are you in London? No, I'm in Derbyshire with my mum. Right, okay. Because I was like, you could be in like at least three different places and I have no idea. No, I know. Where are you? Are you in London? I am in London, yeah. I came back from LA like just before the shit hit the fan, so. Oh my God. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, so yeah, I do have, I probably have a little bit of a tan from then, then, but that's been like a month now, so. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. That's quite sure. What does your mug say? Oh. oh um, so what have you been up to? I, like, it's been a while since I've seen you. I'm trying to think when the last time we've actually seen each other. I think it was, I think, didn't we all go for dinner just before it all ended? I think we all, in Bristol, I think we all met up and had a dinner. That can't be the last time. Have I not seen you in London or something? I don't think so. I haven't really been in London for, for a while. Um, yeah. And then you went away for ages as yeah. well. Yeah, this isn't because we're not friends, guys. This is, oh, just, no. because of, this is just because of conflicting schedules. You yeah. have been up north filming, haven't you? Uh, yes, I have. So I went to um, I went to Italy last summer to do yes. Wedding Repeat, which comes out uh, next, next week, right? Next week. Uh, yeah, so looks great. I'm excited to see it. With uh, Jack. With Jack, which was magic. I mean, I think in Poldark we had something like on total four scenes together so we never actually got to act together right. and suddenly we were able to do this and it was it was lovely Did you? i know that there's a twist that they like try to hide in the trailer so i'm excited to um uh, to yeah how it, like yeah. i think i know what it is but i'm not gonna say just in case people don't want spoilers well it's, it's good it's, i think it's very different from the from the script so i think it sort of ended up being a film that no one really knew what it was going to be like and they've edited it together and it's great it's really cute it's a really great rom-com and it's it's yeah I mean, it's exactly what you need around this you know during this time yeah. so i'm definitely looking forward to definitely to watching it yeah uh, yeah what, so what, what have you been up to um uh, well i went oh god it just feels like so long i mean i i was here mostly in london and then i went to LA, uh, to San Francisco for Christmas. And then I spent some time in San Francisco. I was teaching uh, an acting class, actually. I was teaching oh. directors how to direct actors. Oh, that's um, great. Yeah. Um, and so I kind of traveled between um, there and uh, LA. And then I came back early, thank God, because I could have gotten stuck there and I came back early just because I was I just been there I've been away for so long and I just wanted to come home yeah 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 um so um and yeah and so that's like now it's just like a month ago that I, I came home and then yeah it's just me and Sam and and our flat and uh isolating together <laughs> but how is Sam yeah he's great he's um he's working remotely and um just kind of we're all kind of hoping that projects will remain like Mad, going. It? Yeah, it's really crazy. Um, I've been working on two TV series and both of them have been... Were you on something when like, did you have to like walk off something? Yeah, so I've been filming a thing called Intergalactic in Manchester for... Oh, you've um, been doing that for quite a long time, haven't you? Yeah, um, and we were something like two, three weeks away from finishing it. Um, and then we had to, yeah, we had to step down at the last minute. And then another project I've been doing called The Nevers in London, that's been stood down as well. So it's just, it's just mad. I mean, I'm hoping that yeah. both of them will pick up again. 
when all the yeah there. um yeah hey we've all got to stay positive i know there's no point thinking about anything further than just like honestly this is just teaching us to go day by day and just sort of i don't know like there are so many things up in the air i had something that i was about to do in um in two weeks time and and then down and then something in iceland further down which i hope is gonna still happen but i have no idea i'm sure it will i'm sure it yeah will. yeah yeah um anyway shall we um take some questions yeah from, i mean we can keep chatting but then um if there are any interesting questions you see them coming up there okay, and cool. uh, um well i i uh Oh, did you see one that you wanted to answer? No, 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 no. Um, well, Ruby and I, um, I was like, you know, trying to get lots of chat yeah. out. And then everyone was like, can you just answer the questions? And Ruby was like, we have to answer the questions. I was like, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, next time I will focus more on the questions. Okay. Um, okay, okay, someone's asking. No, go on. You leave. No, you go on. Questions. You go on. <laughs> Uh, what books have I been reading in isolation? I'm reading one uh, called Catch Me a Killer, which is about a female uh, serial killer profiler. Um, and it's really interesting. It's quite harrowing, um, but it's, it's a true story. It's just an account of her experiences. And I'm kind of really enjoying it. I like, I like things. Who, who's uh, it by? Do you remember? Mickey Pistorius. Um, so yeah cool it's i love those like crime crime yeah so. yeah i'm really i'm really enjoying it um, um is bertie with you he is he's in the garden should i show you him yes Bert, come say hi hi oh can you see him oh my <laughs> god he is so cute i am so jealous that you have a dog right now oh uh, no he's great he's really great come say hi to you either Bert. Is he going a little star crazy or a little um, bit, but he kind of just loves having me home, so it's nice. It works, doesn't it, Bert? Oh there look at this little guy. I mean he's not little actually. He's huge. He is huge. huge. Oh hey. that face is so good. Say woof. <laughs> Say woof. Hi woof. Oh my god, he loves you so much. Um yeah so um so yeah what are you reading mm. it's boring actually i mean it's a great book but i don't think it's something that people don't uh, are interested in unless they want to write and i'm uh i'm just reading a book called story by uh robert mckee um and it's just about script writing oh nice that's good though that's helpful because have yeah. you started up your own company now your own production company no i don't know where you got that from i mean it may be that like i am doing a lot of that kind of stuff and maybe it just sort of filtered through maybe it's just like maybe it's that sam and i have always wanted to do it and then like yeah. maybe somehow you thought that we had one and maybe one day we will but no no, no we just i'm just writing for a company with a partner of mine and then I'm also I started a comedy duo with a girl I went to drama school with I saw this on your Instagram it looks awesome yeah it like we're excited we do have stuff to show people but we are keeping it we're sort of holding it back at the moment because we want to um be able to have more to show uh, we do, we're, we're working on like a whole um pilot basically and we had everything like kind of ready to go and so we're writing directing and producing that and so yeah i am doing a lot more like directing and producing and writing and um and uh yeah we just had to have put that on hold of course because we were supposed to start filming in two weeks oh my God. um and so you know that's fine we will we'll just still keep sort of doing little tweaks on it and stuff and then um, hopefully when that happens we can make more of that yeah of course I, yeah that's brilliant and and so I'm so impressed that you've decided to go down that route because it's so hard to have the confidence in yourself when it comes to writing reading your own you. material back to be able to actually 
get that off the ground, get it off its feet. That's, that's yeah, cool. it's a nice feeling. Are you doing any writing? Do you tend to dabble in it or are you just, Not I mean, you're being very busy. I have been lucky, but I, I haven't written anything yet. I, I would like to, at some point, I'd, I'd like to produce, I'd like to see more of yeah. the stories that I want to be told. Uh, see. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, one day maybe. Who well, when you, uh, when you, uh, do your first hand in producing, give me a call. <laughs> yeah, you bet girl, you can, uh, you can produce it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah. Um, yeah. So maybe, you know, down the line, Sam and I will probably make something. We always ha like, we're all, of course, have like our fingers in each other's project all, all the time, but he's just working for um, a production company. But yeah. Um, so what makeup foundation are you using? <laughs> Ah, okay. Uh, um, who is this one by? I think this is by Armani Beauty, this one. Um, oh. And the lip is uh, Hema. Hema? Yeah, H E. Okay. It's just a pencil that I coloured mm -hmm. in. Um, yeah. What, okay, so what did you think about each other when you first met? Oh, shall we tell them how we, like, yeah. like how we met? I, I remember we both been cast and I, we met at the Mammoth, like Mammoth who produces the show, the, the production of this. Yeah. And you were going in for accent coaching, right? Yeah, I was. And, and we then. And I was doing chemist reads with, cause they hadn't cast George and Francis. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And I remember you were so, I was terrified and you were so warm and bubbly and you came up to me and said, um, hi, are you Eleanor? And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And she's like, oh my gosh, I'm Ava. And I was like, oh, I'm just like, hey, hi. And, uh, and then the following week we went off for horse riding training together. Yeah, me, you me, and Aiden. And Aiden. Yeah, and we had, what was it, two days, two or three days? There? Yeah, it was the only time where we did that and we like really went and stayed. Oh no, actually that's not true. I went up every night, but I felt like we did an extra long the first time. Yeah, yeah. Which like makes sense because it was the first time we ever did it. Um, yeah, that was so great. We stayed at this little like pub hotel. Yeah, we had like a little bonding weekend. It was really cute. It was really good fun. It was uh, great and it started making me really excited. But remember how like... Um, superstitious we were about it yeah it was mad it's funny because weirdly that year the year that we did pole dark that we all auditioned for it i yeah. took the diary and uh sorry there's a train going past um you wrote in your diary you said yeah no i i kept a diary that year so oh right it's got everything from from meeting from auditioning for pole dark to meeting you for the first time meeting aiden for the first time it documents everything and wow. i wow i kind of wish that i'd done that I haven't actually looked at it for a, a few years, so I should dig it out and uh, and share it with you guys one time. Yeah, I'm sure you could probably publish a book. Oh my God, yeah. All those stories. But Hold up know. secrets. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I remember we were like, we were both really reluctant to celebrate because we didn't like, we yeah. we weren't we weren't going to celebrate until we were on set and like the yeah. by, and I kind of have that mentality for almost every project now. Yeah, and but it's funny because like it ends up you end up kind of getting on set and then you never actually fully celebrate because you just like get into it, but you don't want to like have that celebratory moment in case it gets taken away from yeah, you. It's so true, and also they they sign you up for five series, and suddenly your the next five years of your life is either potentially mapped out or not. You you never know if the series is going to be a success, so you don't get told if you yeah. go to another series until you're yeah. well, we didn't find out until i mean there was a huge gap between series there one was a really two. huge gap and it was quite scary wasn't it yeah because and just... then we did get a couple in a row and then it just kind of felt like we did kind of feel like we were probably gonna finish it gonna finish it which which was really and cool so when you think about how many things don't get commissioned or don't get you know recommissioned so it's it was so lucky that it did do the five years. And I think that is down to you, Paul, that fan. So 
thank you yeah thank you guys there's a is a is a really good turnout right now um i was saying um earlier before you joined i don't know if you uh caught it but i don't know how to save these chats like i know that they stay on for 24 hours and then i don't know how to save them so i i will if i can um otherwise this is it and you can see it for 24 hours um so p some people were asking about like your favorite moments or any embarrassing moments or anything funny that you can think of from filming um god oh there was certainly um of embarrassing moments the first the first scene that i ever shot as demelza was that singing scene in series one where i sing to ross and we realize that they're falling in love with each other the christmas <laughs> scene the christmas scene was the first scene that i shot and we, really I was terrified not only because i had never sung before to anyone but myself in the shower and yeah. we were also picking up the characters in the middle of this love story and yeah. all of this turmoil has gone before them but they're finally starting to find each other and fall in love so we were already having to plot everything that they've been through in my head and then to deliver that and sing at the same time in front of a group of people I didn't really know yet and I was mm. terrified and you were all so supportive yeah, I mean, you that sounded is... great, and you became, like, a favorite of people to sit, like, they kept m writing you songs to sing, which was um, lovely. It was, um, it was terrifying, and it was certainly embarrassing, but, um, but, you know, I'm pleased that it turned out well for the best. I remember that day, and now that you say, now that you talk about it, I realized that it was your first day, but I, because that was trend with i'd been filming for like a week or something yeah because i think you guys started i think you've been filming for almost two weeks before i joined the cast so i didn't i didn't you know i felt like i was coming into something that had already started and i was just yeah, yeah just sort of a bit on the back foot and a bit nervous and and what about your first scene um in the actual story that was an amazing day, wasn't it? Because that was the first time we were like properly on like an outside location, I think. Yeah, 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 we were. You know, I think like in, in terms of like, like village, like town vibes. Um, and that to me was like the first time I was like, this is massive. Like with yeah. all the, the set. And I remember there was like all these sheep in in like a little huddle yeah. and there were all these like market stalls and you were just like you felt like you were transported yeah um, completely. completely it was it was amazing and i think we both got a sense caution of yeah there's someone saying caution caution, caution yeah um just how big the series was then as well and the the work and the time and the effort that had gone into creating those sets it was just un unbelievable and then yeah that 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 scene where he takes me to the pub after he saved me from the dog fight and I had to eat soup and like stuff it in my face and yeah it, that was a great scene it was cold and it was gross and after every take I was like spitting it out yeah it was, um it was... and then I came into the scene I was like oh I thought it was a boy yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes I remember that have you watched any of it since since it's been on have you have you seen any of it like the the older stuff like series i've now? seen like i was saying last week when i was trying to oh no i guess it was this week when i was turning to ruby um i think i've only seen like clips that like my agents have had around yeah and i'm just i was just like you're still using that i look like yeah 20 <laughs> um and it, it was interesting and i had some scenes from elizabeth in the first season and i was like oh god she is so pathetic <laughs> Uh, I, um, I still because I, it. I became a lot more like interested in playing her, like a little down the line when she had a little more grit. Yeah, her. yeah. What are the, what are some of the things that we did together? Because we did have like a lot together at first, and then it, yeah. like if it, it became like a lot to like almost nothing. Yeah, one of my favorite scenes that we had was the scene where it was in the grounds of Trenwith. And it's when I sort of confront you and tell you that you're welcome to him and you can have him. I was going to say the same. That was loved that scene. It was fun and it was um, 
it was kind of the first time that we'd actually had a real proper conversation about yeah. something other than, you know, sort of. Because everything else is so, I mean, especially in period drama in general, everything and anything quintessentially British, like everything is so like upper lip and like yeah. everyone's got like these social masks. Like you maybe a little less than some of the others, but like it's definitely with us together. We were always so civil and, you know, always practicing the social norms. And then it, that we just got to kind of drop our masks during that time. Yeah. Um, and I really, yeah, I was going to say the same. I really liked that scene. And there was also a scene before that that was like also on the ground um, in the woods. I like came after you with like some eggs or something. When was that? It was really cold and it was quite short. And I like run after you. And I'm like, Demelza, uh, something, something. And you just like won't give me any time. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. I, I don't know. Maybe someone will remind us. But yeah, no, I really enjoyed that. It's so fun, um, isn't it? Because it's, it's amounted to so much so many hours of television and and you know we, we've we've acted out the scenes and then you you know months goes by for us and I like we watch them I, yeah. I watch them I learn from them and then I put them to bed I don't watch it again it's yeah it's, what about you have you um have you watched any of it no like... no I haven't I haven't even seen your death scene I haven't seen the end of series four have you not? No, I couldn't watch. I was too, I was too sad and I was too close to it. And I think the thought of it all ending and I really didn't know how I felt about going back to series five and knowing you weren't going to be there. And <laughs> I, I, it was really kind of quite, quite sad and, and quite scary because you, you were sort of yeah. my rock and my buddy throughout the whole thing, even though we're not, we weren't like that on camera. Yeah. It was, um, oh, bless you. it was just incredibly weird. So I, I haven't watched it, but I'm saving that for, for one day when I'm a bit further away from it, when I haven't, you know, cause yeah, I haven't breathed I, it for five years. Yeah, I was, I was 21 when I got it, 26 when it ended. It's a huge it was, chunk of life. It was your whole, like, I mean, it was your whole life. Like, yeah. for me, it was, it like went from 100% to like 10% less every season, kind of, and then sort of getting ready to like phase it out, whereas mm. you were just in constantly yeah you know so how was the like I mean I know you just said about you know not feeling quite ready to watch it but like how I don't know if I've seen you like how was it after it all ended like did how what did you how did you go through what did you go through it's it was a real kind of grieving process I think I think it all started before it finished though if that makes sense I think I started grieving the end of it Mm -hmm. way before the end of series five um yeah and it's it was mainly sort of well, you going for a start was like kind of huge hole in the series for me and the I, end. I was I was thinking you know how do we then make sense of what has been a triangle it's been a, a complete mutual leadership of me you and him and and, and what what becomes of our relationship once you remove you so it mm. became this very um sort of strange time and, and quite confusing and also I think quite weirdly poignant that after all Peter and Elizabeth went through that that what is left of that at the end without it I just thought that was quite that was quite nice but um mm. but in terms of the series actually ending I think there was a a big sigh of relief because we'd completed it we'd done what we set out to do which was quite yeah. so lucky to have done that um yeah. But also just, yeah, this real kind of sadness. And, and I, I don't think it hit me until, I don't think I, I realised that it was going to happen until they said, that's it, it's a wrap. And then you suddenly look around and you think, God, that's the last time I'm going to see these guys, certainly for a long time or for a while. I know. I kind of wish I was with you guys when, like, on the day that you were out, just to kind of yeah. be there with you. Um, I don't even know where I was, to be honest. Um but yeah, no, I can imagine it's like, yeah, it, it, it probably sank, like took a long time to sink in. Yeah, it did. It really did. Um, did you get any break? Did you t take it, take a break or? I don't, I don't think I did. I think I just went 
kind of was so desperate to to plow on to sort of fill the the void to fill the sadness um and also I had that fear that I didn't want to I didn't want to only be known for pole dot you know there's that there's that fear that when you when you're in a long running series you relax knowing it go again and again when once you realize that it's popular and that it probably will without mm-hmm. that sounding arrogant it's it's um it's then a question of forging yourself to be, as an actress to, to take on a different role to become something else mm. and to change the way that people perceive you yeah absolutely so I mean yeah it was it was quite a strange time really and I think I had to I had to really push myself to try and do something very different which I've tried to do um so yeah it seems like it I mean even with the the Netflix film like you're doing a comedy and the seems yeah. very like light and funny and uh yeah i mean it, it is tricky to i mean it's also partly why i you know decided to me and my friends decided to do a sketch comedy because people were like well people don't think we're funny so let's just show them yeah no absolutely it's such a good idea i can't wait to see that i'm so excited yeah who is well, the friend that you're doing it with hmm? who is the friend that you're doing it with uh, her name is Beth Park. She's a great actress. She's done a lot of great theatre, worked a lot with the RSC. Um, and she, um, uh, yeah, her and I trained together and we were always like, we always used to pair up in school and stuff. And then we've always, always kind of had ideas to work together. And then finally we just like thought, you know what will keep us focused is if we just did short sketches and then it doesn't feel like as much of a commitment. Yeah. Um, because like as soon as you start mapping out like an, an entire narrative, like it takes so much longer before you can actually make anything yeah. from it. So we were like, let's do something now. And so we wrote some sketches and we filmed one and then that led to us like doing more. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I really so miss fun. like, I like what talking to you like really makes me miss being on set. Really? Like, yeah, because like, I mean, you always had this like impeccable work ethic and like passion for the show, and you were such a great example for everyone. And it it also just is a lot like, and it takes a long time to sort of appreciate what it was because like mm. I used to miss like the job security and the the friendships and the and the stuff that we did after work. But like actually filming is quite grueling. Yeah. But like. Now when I think about it, I'm like, no, I do miss it because we had such a good energy on set and we had such a good, um, such good people and the stories were great and the costumes were great and I just miss it all. I mean, we, we filmed in like amazing places, didn't we? Yeah. Oh my God. Incredible. And also we were all away from home. You know, we were either in, yeah, well, everything exterior in Cornwall, but then all of us were living in Bristol for six yeah. months a year sometimes doing six day weeks but the hours you know for us girls we get up at five o'clock every morning and picked up at 10 past five and then you're in all day until you wrap at probably seven or eight o'clock and then you've got your your d-rig where you get out of your hair and makeup and then by the time you get home you you have so few hours at home yeah that you, well, yeah the people that you see are the people that you work with and and you the rest of your life somewhat just goes on hold which is you know it's bliss but it is hard it's really hard and and it's hard to you know you have to you you end up putting your own life on hold and then you you end up prioritizing things and it's it's an odd way of of living but it's um if you're lucky enough to do it it's 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 fun yeah it was a a really what do you like like at first uh like first instinct what do you miss the most about filming the people the crew and the cast um yeah and also I, I also really miss the character but I, I equally feel that I really maxed her out you know I I yeah learned so much from her as a character I definitely carry aspects of her with me in my daily life now yeah she's made me a stronger person which I'm grateful yeah. for um, I mean look I like you were saying you were 21 when you got the role and when you say that now yeah us being half a decade older I'm just kind of like wow you were 21 and I mean I remember seeing the shift in you like halfway through and like suddenly you were this 
grown up person. Not that you, <laughs> no, not not that you weren't like very mature for your age, but like you like fully turned into a grown up during this. Yeah, it's weird. It's it's such a weird thing. You guys, you saw me through. Yeah, you saw me grow up. You saw me through it in a huge part of my life. And it, yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. It's um, it's so funny. I feel like we all have a short hand with each other, and it's you know we're we've maintained a really strong group and you know yeah. we're, not, we're not necessarily in touch all the time but I think that's the mark of good friends that you can pick up where you left off or you can you know erase yeah and we have you there. know yes we do have group chats we're always kind of like we're always in touch most yeah. of the time even though we haven't seen each other for for a while mm. um someone asked um um someone asked how would we feel in each other's roles uh, I, uh so you you was supposed to go in for elizabeth weren't you yeah i was um but i asked to go in for demelza and at first they were really hesitant about it no no you're not you're not demelza and somehow i managed to convince them that i might be and uh i went in for the audition yeah. and, and everyone in the audition the waiting room was sort of dark haired and green eyed, like utterly gorgeous, but so different from me. And I, like me. Oh, no, I'm, yeah, like you. And I was like, oh God, no, they definitely don't want me as, as Demelza. But yeah, here we are. So I know it's, it's <laughs> funny because I mean, I was, I would have been too old to play Demelza, um, but technically I would have been like physically right for it if I was yeah. younger. So it is funny that we, we swapped like that. Yeah. But I, I, I remember thinking, because I looked up the old series and I thought, oh, they've made Demelza of this like, re like fiery redhead and mm -hmm. Elizabeth is this blonde. And there was this sort of loose requirement that like, if I got the role that I would dye my hair. And I was like, I'm fine with that. Like, I, <laughs> I'd love to. Um, and then, if it, what was it? I was like worried I wouldn't get it because I wasn't blonde. Mm. And, uh, but then, yeah, I mean, as you see, they just decided, no, that there's no need. Yeah. But, they, but you've kept the red hair. I've kept the red hair. I just feel stronger with it. You know, it's, it's as you know, as a girl, you dye your hair every color under the sun. Yeah. Find your identity, trying to feel, you know, the best that you can or the most confident that you can. And I have- Holly, I'm still trying to go blonde. Color. I really like your hair. I love it a bit lighter. It's great. Thanks. I mean, it doesn't look like at all now because it's like wrapped up. But I had a, a really expensive haircut and color just before the, the lockdown. Oh, so. God. That's hilarious. Yeah, I, uh, I have my roots done just before the lockdown. So I was like, if I'm going into lockdown, I'm not going with roots, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, someone... Wait, what, what, someone asked, um, uh, oh, did you audition? Did you audition with Aiden? Yeah, so uh, not, we did a chemistry test uh, together, which is basically yeah. where you uh, get together in the same room. It was a blooming meeting conference room. Yeah. And they basically test as to whether there's any kind of chemistry between you. Two. Um, and it was the scene, it was the blue dress scene that we had to reenact uh, in this meeting. Oh, yeah. that whole thing. That what, was the con what was the controversy about that, s the dress? It was, I think it was the, of the period, the dresses did up at the front, uh, but that dress did up at the back so that we could have that shot where, and also how has she gotten into it? She can't get out of it, but you know. Oh yeah, that, oh yeah, that was my thing. I was a bit yeah. like, they should have figured that out. <laughs> yeah. The, oh no, but then, but then the whole point was that like, she kind of could get out of it. She can definitely get out of it. I think the fact right. that she's testing the water, uh, and yeah, and pushing pushing the boundaries a bit as as Demelza does. But um, how was yeah. it? How how was the audition? Did you like? Did how was it? It was. It was kind of terrifying. I just remember being very, very nervous. I didn't, I didn't know Aiden before. I hadn't seen The Hobbit and I hadn't seen any of his previous work. So I, um, I was quite glad of that. When you go into an audition and you've got to, you know, prove to someone that there's chemistry, the last thing that you want is to sort of go in there knowing everything about that person. I think it just makes you more nervous and unseats you. 
So um, I know I've been I, in that position where like I read with someone who I like know exactly who is and it's just, yeah and it's like really and, and they usually don't tell you as well like you yeah. go in and they're just like here's this famous person yeah. and you're like yeah okay oh great I wish I'd known yeah yeah I didn't I had the same thing with Aiden though like I'd recognized him but I wasn't sure who he was right I, I um, don't know anything about him. He, he walked past me in the waiting room and I had no idea it was him. And then I walked into the audition room and it was him. And I was like, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, hi. And, yeah. Uh, and, and we did it. And I think that they, well, I think that they bought the chemistry. They, uh, yeah, they, the they definitely, the they definitely did. It. How she got in or out of it didn't come into question. So, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, obviously she could go get out of it. You know, uh, let's yeah. be real. Oh, uh, yeah. Everyone was like, she knows what she's doing. <laughs> did I mean, you have to audition with Aiden? I did, yeah. So I, I, re I was recalled with him. I mean, we didn't like, I can't remember, like, I don't know if he was on camera, like, but we were just sitting at the conference table. Like, were you standing? Yeah. Yeah, you must have been because, but we were just sitting. Oh. Um, and we did the scene, because someone also asked this question, what scene did you do? Um, we did the scene, it's in the first episode, it was like, it was, I think it's the one on my wedding day, when I say, I thought, I thought you were dead, he was, he's like, I thought you were dead, yeah. um, and to be honest, like, I think, yeah, I, I, that, that was the one, it was like really intense, and, just, yeah. uh, and I think, um, I never really addressed this because like people had really strong feelings about it then. And I was, you know, when you like, when you like, when you are new to something and you're like always trying to protect him to make sure that everyone's happy and like, likes it. And now I sort of care less about what people yeah. think I think about it. Yeah. Um, and I just remember feeling like people were so hard on her for like, not waiting for him but she genuinely thought he was dead yeah like people were like yeah but she should have waited and i'm like in what world yeah but also of the time women didn't have that luxury you no. can't wait around as a woman at that at that age at that point in your life for someone yeah. dead supposedly and you know yeah yeah fully fully i just feel like they were like oh she's such a bitch like he's back and she's still married francis i was like well she made a promise and he didn't come after her yeah exactly like what that like that's where you create good drama and that's yeah. thanks to winston and debbie yeah uh yeah. For creating that and that is the Definitely. setup of the show really people are asking a lot about um uh, people are asking a lot about um what our favorite dresses were Ooh. I would say probably the red dress with the had like little uh, flowers on it. I thought that was that was probably my favorite. The dress you wore, I guess, you wore a lot of red. I think I know the one you mean. Yeah. What was yours? You had some beautiful dresses. Do you remember when you spilt? What was it? Um, not mayonnaise. You spilt something on a silk gown. Oh yeah, and like, <laughs> and I was terrified of oh. costume. I was oh. like, don't don't tell costume like they can't tell. oh I was like I, I took like a co like one of the costume assistants it was like you cannot tell the supervisor this happened we oh, have to fix God. this because we would wear a, like, we would wear a lot of like raw silk wouldn't we yeah. and it would be like quite tricky to get stuff out it was something fatty yes I think it was almond butter I think you'd made yourself something in the makeup trailer and you dropped almond butter Oh. That was exactly what it was. It was almond butter. I think I was doing almond butter on like apple slices. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. But, I've, um, I but um, that wasn't. I don't know. I don't remember which dress that was. I did have a favorite. Okay, so there were things that I was looking forward to wearing because they were comfortable, mm -hmm. um, or as comfortable as they could get. And there were and, and there were also things. The most uncomfortable things were the most beautiful things. Yeah. Um, so I had a dress that was actually too small. The corset had to be reined in so tight that, and I was quite good with just being like, I didn't want my dresses to be too tight. Yeah. But that one was particularly, it had no give. And my corset were reined in so tight that I almost fainted one day. Oh my God. Um, and maybe that's just because I gained weight. I mean, who knows? But it was, um, this mint, like light minty, um, 
with like a very like a French ruffle. I didn't have very many French ruffles, but I had like a proper French ruffle, and I had like a huge hat. I wore it to um, church at one point. Yes, I remember it. It, it was like yeah. beginning of the. Mm, it was the end of second season, beginning of third season. In fact, I think it's the dress that I'm wearing when you come and warn George about like being lynched, and I'm just like, oh my god. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do remember that. And then Agatha says to me, um, oh, like, whose child is it? And I'm like, um, yeah. and that's the dress I was wearing. And it was, that's actually also the day that I almost fainted because it was so tight. And also when you're wearing a corset, you, well, you can barely eat anything anyway at lunchtime, but you- Yeah, it, how I was your experience right. with that? To be honest, not that bad like I'm I was quite used to it by certainly by the end of it but you learn to avoid things things like rice and pasta that expand after you've eaten them I was really bad I just did anything awful like the worst and and there's nothing and also because the shoes aren't necessarily the most comfortable either so you're standing all day and you're in a a posture that you would never normally be in yeah is it's excruciating but it's we were lucky that we I've lost you. There you are. Oh, hi. Um, we, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Oh, okay. Um, we were lucky though because we were we were both tall, so we usually got to wear flats, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We did. Um, um so that we would look the same height or yeah, shorter. shorter. <laughs> it's quite a few short guys in our show, to be fair, and not that short, but yeah, we're pretty tall girls. And Gabriella's like. 5'10", 5'11". So, yeah, she got to wear flats too. Yeah. Um, they practically were digging holes for her to stand in. <laughs> I know, I think it is, I mean, it, it's funny, like we do have this like idea of a, a woman having to be shorter than a man. And I, I have to say like, I understand where it comes from, but at the same time, I wish it wasn't such an yes. ingrained thing for us. Yes. It's so silly, it's so silly. It is really silly. It's really silly. What's your abiding memory of the show? What was your favorite moment? Or do you have one? Like, I don't know, because they all, like, they, they're all in, like, different, ca- like, a lot of the times they don't have anything to do with the actual filming. Like, because mm. could, there could be a scene that I really liked, or there could just have been a day that was really special. Or, like, I mean, I personally just think that every time we were in Cornwall, I felt like magic. Yeah. Um, I think there was like, you know, anything that we were doing along the coastline was just like, un, you know, unbelievable. Ah, incredible. Absolutely incredible. And staying in some of those lodges that we stayed in, in, in St. Ives and ah, oh, it was just gorgeous. We had some amazing, amazing places that we stayed as well. Yeah, I think when we, I did have actually, I think one of my favorite days was one of the first days in Cornwall and one of the only times that I was in Nampara, which was the when I um, uh, went to see Ross and yeah. you answered the door covered in, in fish guts and like, you had such a dumb look on your face that I couldn't <laughs> stop laughing. Yeah. I look back at those and think, oh no, it's so over the top, but it's... No. It was great. Like, did you ever miss the comedy that you got to do with her in the very beginning when she was very uncultured? Because, like, the more the more she like integrated into like genteel society, the less she got to be like clumsy and yeah, it's true. Weird. And when I think back to those scenes with Ruby, where she's teaching me how to dance and stuff, but, but it was just comic value. Yeah, it was great. yeah. I loved those scenes and I loved that relationship. She's she's one that I really missed in the later series of the show. I think that I think we all did. I was yeah. saying to uh, we had a ch- we did the uh, chat earlier this week and we were all saying I don't think any of us really like accepted that you weren't like a re- like a regular yeah. anymore. Yeah. Like exactly. that you didn't she was such a staple to the show. And I think what I can gather, it was because was it was it that her the guy who plays her husband was away filming another show and they couldn't keep having her and not him? Was that it? I don't know because I don't know because I don't know what happens to her in the books. I'm not sure what happens to her in the books, but I think she um 
I know she, in our version, she went away with Captain Blamey to live in. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then, okay. yeah, but then he didn't come back. But then yeah. she did come back with his son, which was quite funny. Yes. And That's all the babies. What about all the babies? Like, how many babies did you have? Like, oh and I don't mean like, well, first of all, your character had a bunch of babies, but then yeah. how many babies played those babies? We've had so many sets of children in this show so many different ages yep. and a lot of them are twins so that if one yes. starts crying we can switch her out and grab the other one um, yep. but to be honest I loved working with the kids I thought they were great especially the older they got with the babies it's quite intense and quite scary because uh, it's a lot it's a lot and also you know you'll get you'll get the scene exactly right you'll get the lines exactly as you want them and then a child will come and scream all over them and you're like ah! Yeah, um, it's the toddlers that are the worst. Like, yeah, the ba the babies are okay. Like, if if you can, if they can't walk, they're all right. But like, yeah. if they're between like one and three, it's like the minute they realize as well that you're not their mum, and oh yeah, like who are you and why are you wearing that? You're so weird. And also, bless him, Aiden wears a really strong perfume, and I think that they just were like, no. <laughs> I don't, because I don't know this smell. I don't know what you smell like. So it's, it was really... I know that smell. That is a nice smell, actually. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, no, I loved working with them. I think they really, um, they, they totally change the energy on set. It's like when you have animals on set as well, people behave in a completely different way. So it's, um, yeah. it is good having them around. It changes the atmosphere. I know. I, I, I enjoyed it. I, I definitely had some little baby favorites that I was like, yeah, I was always, a, I, it was always, a sh I was always jealous that I didn't have any animals as a character, that she didn't have yeah. any animals. I like, was hoping she'd get like a little cat. Like, I was so cat. jealous. <laughs> I was so jealous of Gabriella oh, having a hug, even though that Gabriella was like, yeah, he's a lot. <laughs> yeah, but also she was heavily pregnant in series two? No, three? No, in series two two she was pregnant in series three, three she was breastfeeding she had the baby yeah so she kept having to maneuver the pug to hide her bump and every time you'll notice and every time she stands up she looks incredibly well as well she's blooming and every time she stands up the camera changes angle so that yeah. you never you never see any more than like her close-up and yeah, yeah. She was, she was huge by the time we finished filming. She gave birth about two weeks after we stopped filming. I know it's amazing. I, I would love to. I mean, hopefully she um she can join us on the chat at some point because like it would be interesting to talk to her about like what it's like to be an actor on set, you yeah. know, and have a child or be pregnant. And actually restored a lot of faith, or not restored, actually just gave me a lot of faith yeah. in the process of like being a woman and being able to be pregnant and still work and I and I was really impressed that like they made that work for her yeah I was as well and it was amazing because you know in in the later series we then had this beautiful little baby running around the trailer and and yeah cute. so it's, it's amazing because you do see people like you said you saw me grow up we saw her bring <laughs> life into the world and then we met the little baby it's it's incredible it's very rare I think that that happens on shows I think that we were yeah, because it was with it being a long show, we've been through such a such a stage of each other's lives. Yeah, fully. Yeah. Um. So to finish off, um, what's what's your week looking like? What's your weekend looking like? Isolation. Um. <laughs> what have you? Were you there? Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, um, hi. Um, so my weekend, um, what have I been doing? Uh, trying to stay as creative as possible. I'm still trying to audition for things. Uh, people are working from home a lot, so just trying to keep the ball rolling and stay creative in that way. Um, there's a project that I'm a part of that starts. I'm hoping it's been pushed back with all of this corona stuff, so I'm hoping that um, we'll end up filming that later this year um mm -hmm. but yeah just sort of just sort of trying to keep my i don't know what that noise is um home improvements yeah thank you we're trying to have a pull dog chat here guys um <laughs> same to you i have the same thing going on next oh door. god
um yeah so so really just sort of staying home and, and trying not to go crazy what about you what are you doing for the next yeah I mean I have like a few I mean I do like that you know now you just have to like link up with people on on this type like you know on line and I have like you know a few sort of dates with friends just yeah. to, to have a drink and like catch up and stuff which we, we should definitely do yeah, yeah yeah we should uh as well definitely um just like that is the one thing that I like about this is that people are really reaching out to everyone and making yeah. or, like all the people in their lives and making sure that they're um yeah just in touch yeah. and stuff yeah well we must definitely we'll organize like a get together we should get we should get the whole gang together actually that would be nice yeah we need to do a little like a big reunion um night in london at some point that would be lovely i would love maybe if this is maybe if this all blows over hopefully before the end of summer i mean i'm i i need it to i i'm hopefully going to greece in like august i really don't want to not go yeah um but like we could do like a big picnic in the park one day or something. Oh, that would be gorgeous. Yeah, that's yeah. how we do that for sure. All right. For sure. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. I know that people are, were so excited and so pleased that you did. Thank you everyone that tuned in to uh, to uh, say hi and uh, thanks for the questions. Yeah, thanks for joining us guys. It means a lot and all of you stay safe and hey, the love you loads. It's been fab to talk to you. And, uh, love you, babe. See you Have soon. a good weekend and I'll speak to you soon. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.